Mon Calamari Star Cruisers were the first large capital ships used by the Rebel Alliance, and later the New Republic. They were designed and built by the Mon Calamari, and were capable of putting up a fight against Imperial Star Destroyers. First are the MC-80 Star Cruisers. They were massive vessels that were almost as large as Imperial Star Destroyers. They contained dozens of turbo lasers and ion cannons, as well as large hangars that were able to contain over 100 starfighters. Due to each ship being uniquely designed, there were many different variants of the MC-80 Star Cruiser. The most common ones were the MC-80 Liberty type Star Cruiser. They were one of the earlier types used by the Rebel Alliance and had a triangular shaped design. The most iconic ones were the MC-80 Home 1 type Star Cruisers. They generally served as command ships during battle and were more cylindrical and bulbous in design. Other variants include the MC-80 Evacuation Cruisers, which were designed to carry civilians during evacuations. The MC-80A Star Cruisers, which were luxury ships modified into warships, and the MC-80B Star Cruisers, which were created for the New Republic and had their guns optimized for more aggressive frontal assault. Second are the MC-90 Star Cruisers. These ships contain greater firepower than the one seen previously. The controls and displays on board these ships were designed for compatibility with most major species in the galaxy like humans. This allowed for the first time for non-Mon Calamari to pilot Mon Calamari Star Cruisers. Third are the MC-140 Scythe class main battle cruisers. They contained a unique front blade that distinguished them from other Mon Calamari ships. Because most of the turbo lasers were mounted on the front blade, this allowed these warships to easily focus all of their firepower onto a single point. There was a variant of these ships called the tri -Scythe class frigates. They had three frontal blades instead of one. Fourth are the MC-30C frigates. Due to their small size, they were one of the fastest Mon Calamari cruisers. They had a heavy amount of weapons for their size, but were lightly armored. Fifth are the Shashor class frigates. They were designed for greater speed and maneuverability at the cost of less armor. They were mainly used as escorts for Scythe class battle cruisers. Sixth are the Viscount class star defenders. They were designed to be as large and powerful as the Executor class star dreadnoughts. Along with their heavy armor, they possess 2,000 heavy turbo lasers. Seventh are the MC-40A light cruisers. They were smaller ships used by the Rebels that were equipped with powerful shields for their size. Last are the stocky Mon Calamari Star Cruisers. They were basically a smaller version of the MC-80 Star Cruiser, with their most distinguishable features being their pointed tip and large observation window in the front. The next two ships don't have any images of themselves, so instead we'll put space battle art in their place. First are the Mediator class battle cruisers. They were extremely large ships, being slightly over half the length of the Viscount class star defenders. Their armor was so strong that they could even survive a nuclear explosion from within their hangars. Second are the Mon Calamari heavy carriers. Though not much is known about these ships, they were the first heavy carriers created by the Mon Calamari. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the force be with you.